Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jazby's Hobbyland here. Well, this is what appears to be our last break of the night, and it's a good one. It's our eight-box Invincible football mixer. Not like the movie, Disney. Don't sue us. Like, Invincible as in it's a pretty awesome mixer. Not like the movie, Invincible, starring Mark Wahlberg and the Philadelphia Eagles. No vet base ships in this. It was a picker team mixer. Eight boxes. There they are right here. Big thanks to... These folks, on a Saturday night, still staying up with me, hanging out. There it is. Mark with that last spot mojo. Good luck with the Rams. I appreciate everyone digging deep to uh, finish this break. Some people were worried that wouldn't fill. We got it done, though. Thank you. Okay, we're going to start, uh, I guess, back in time, right? 2013, first momentum, Panini Momentum Football. Good luck, everybody. Oh, all right, John. Well, send, send that email. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to remember. <laughs> all right. Good luck, everybody. We were talking, just before we started this break, we were talking off camera about, um, I think it was Johnny who started asking about, hey, what do you guys think about AP? And I think that's an interesting question about all of those sort of aging running backs that may be able to get another year to squeeze out of them of effectiveness, right? Adrian Peterson, Marshawn Lynch, Jamal Charles, Eddie Lacy, although Eddie Lacy is a little bit younger than those other guys. Uh, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? What, what's gonna what, What's gonna happen with those running backs? I think it's a matter of usage. I think it's a matter of being able to use those guys more effectively. And not overuse them. I don't know if they're the. You know, coming off of injuries or retirement or whatever the case may be. All right, here we go. Is Larry Fitz, when is he, he's going to retire soon, right? That's that's what I heard. Or is he retired already? Marcus Davis, 36 out of 49. For the Jets, that'll go to Adam Kupperman. Stedman Bailey, 19 out of 49 for the Rams, rookie initiation. John says he thinks that Lynch, Marshawn Lynch has more than enough in the tank. I hope so. Printing plate, one of one. And a train whistle. Adjust your volume when we get to that one. 172 out of 299. Upside jumbo. Upside well, he's in L.A. now, Robert Woods, former USC guy, now in Los Angeles again with the Rams. Could still have some upside. Goes to the Bills, Adam K. Some base cards. And the printing plate is a stealer. Jarvis Jones, one of one. Nice. Nice. Who's got the Steelers in this one? Asa with the Steelers. Nice. <clears throat> it's the end of the week, so my voice is not as strong. But all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! That was a good one. 239 out of 399. Rookie team threads, Landry Jones. It's another stealer for Asa. We'll breeze through these base cards out of 399. Nice rookie relic, DeAndre Hopkins. Texans, Craig K. Just needs a quarterback to throw to him. Marcus Lattimore. 
for the 49ers. Rookie initiation relic going to Josh York. Yeah, as for beast mode, I don't think I don't think the Raiders, I don't think my Raiders, 326 out of 399 Stephon Taylor relic for the Cardinals, Brett. Uh, I don't think the Raiders signed Marshawn Lynch expecting him to be the same beast mode, you know what I mean? I don't think, he, I, at the same time, I don't think he's going to be used as like a situational back or anything like that, a trick play guy. Or, I don't think that's going to be the case either, but, you know, they, they've got they've got some interesting interesting talent with Jalen Richard and DeAndre Washington. There's upside jumbo, Geno Smith, until someone hit him in the jaw. 215 out of 299 for the Jets, Adam K. So hopefully the Raiders don't have to rely on beast mode to be beast mode. And I don't think the expectation is there for him to be beast mode. And I think there'll be flashes of it. And hopefully we don't have to rely on him to do that. Marcus Wheaton, 26 out of 49. Nice two-color patch, rookie initiation patch for Asa and the Steelers. Jason R. saying Big Ben is here. By you think Big Ben will retire soon? Seems like it, right? There's Corey Fuller, 560 out of 599. Lions auto. Going out to... Johnny L. There you go, Johnny. Welcome. Not quite Barry Sanders, but <laughs> it's something. All right. So that was 2013 momentum. Right, Liam. Yeah, Marshawn Lynch can't be a workhorse. And I don't think the Raiders are going to use him uh, as a workhorse. I don't think that's their intent. All right. Let's get into 2014 Bowman Chrome Football. So this is 2014. And then we'll move into 2015, then 16, and then so on and so forth. Well, uh, the last box we'll do will be uh, will be definitive. How about that? The last box we'll do will be the last two boxes encased. Second to last box, definitive, last box. Yeah, Jason Art saying no, but uh, you know, but Marshawn Lynch will definitely, but teams will definitely respect the run when Marshawn Lynch is on the field. Listen, the Raiders had a pretty darn good season with just Latavius Murray, DeAndre Washington, and Jalen Richard. You know, now they've added uh, Jared Cook at tight end to go along with Clive Walford on the other side, maybe for two tight end sets there are now possibilities as well. And, um, and now, you know, you add, you lose Latavius Murray, but you add Marshawn Lynch and you don't need him to be a savior of your running game. You just need him to be decent. You know, you, you got, um, excuse me, you got, uh, Jalen Richard in, uh, and uh, DeAndre Washington's still there. Plus, I think there's another running back that they may have drafted in the late rounds and whatnot. So, I mean, with that being said, as long as everybody's healthy, you know, I, I expect, you know, I expect the Raiders to, you know, be battling to win that division. You know? There's CJ Fedorovich, 24 out of 199 blue auto for the Texans, and I think that's Will, right? No, Craig K. No, Will has a Falcons. Craig K is that one. There's Geno Smith Blue out of 199 for Adam K and the Jets. Gold CJ Fedorovich for Craig K. Seven out of 50. Because you're starting your CJ Fedorovich PC. Brandon Cooks out of 99. Brandon Cooks out of 99. Just kidding, those aren't out of 99. Uh, 
Uh, Shep, let me. Uh, Shep's bringing up a good question right here. Let me get through this box really quick. Shep is asking me to get inside the mind of Marshawn Lynch. Uh, there's Michael Crabtree, who the Raiders should have drafted from the get-go out of 299. That goes to the Niners, Josh York. The Pulsar, Connor Shaw, to 271. Uh, for Jason R., weren't you looking for Browns quarterbacks? And nice, Devontae Adams, 2 out of 10, Bowman's best. That's pretty cool. These, these guys aren't numbered very often. Uh, that goes to Asa and the Packers. There's my boy Derek Carr, who should be back from his leg injury just fine and healthy. All right, so let me, as I sleeve these up, C Shep asks, hey, I think Beast Mode is being used as a spectacle. Just trying to keep that stadium full, maybe? Mm. Or he retired because he really wanted to get away from the Seahawks and finally landed a team after a year off. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, that was the Browns thing was a joke. I figured it was. I didn't want to assume. You know, I didn't I don't want to assume because then someone will be like, hey, that's actually what I PC, man. You just I mean, that's disrespectful. <laughs> they can't assume things. Um Oh, I he fought the Browns so he would he would just be in the game. I got you. Well thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Uh, to get into the mind of beast mode, I don't know. I don't think the Raiders signed him to be a spectacle. I think it's nice that he is from the area. I think that certainly helped. But I don't think th the Raiders are in a position to be cute, you know? Like, they still have a lot of things they need to build on that team. You know, so like... I don't think the front office is, is sitting there going, you know, what would be cute would be, you know, to get Marshawn Lynch and that would be cool because we're only two years in Oakland and blah, 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 blah. I don't think I don't think that's the way, you know, former Packers GM Reggie McKenzie is going to do things. Um, so or did he retire because he really wanted to get away from the Seahawks? I don't know. Actually, I really don't know too much about the Marshawn Lynch story to kind of really f or, or paid attention closely enough to the to the quotes and the situations and the stories. Maybe Seattle fans can can illuminate. Well, Jason R, who has Seahawks as his, as his avatar, says uh, Lynch would have stayed retired if it wasn't for the Raiders. That seems to be the impression that I get. That Marshawn Lynch was pretty much was pretty much done and that if he felt up for being lured back to the nfl like if he was in shape if he still felt like he could do something you know the only team he'd do it for would probably be the raiders and i think it just kind of the stars kind of aligned you know marshawn lynch you know still you know looks good still stayed in shape you know and it seems healthy it's not like he let himself go so it's you know it clearly seems like he was working out he still kind of was thinking about it in the back of his head raiders came calling and i think that kind of stirred up the competitive juices for marshall Lynch. And i think that might have helped hey listen if marshall lynch retired and then you know maybe kind of let himself go a little bit enjoying retirement you know there's nothing wrong with that you know, and then the Raiders came calling. If he didn't feel up for it, I don't think he'd be, I don't think he would say, okay, let's do this, you know, and do the Raiders like that, you know, childhood team. I think it just worked out nicely. The money worked out nicely. The, the, the Seahawks were very generous and essentially not giving up too much. Yeah, I think we gave up a late round pick, didn't we, Jason R? And, and some money. But I think it was very, it was, it was very favorable, you know, like, Seahawks can kind of cleanly cut ties with Marshawn Lynch and then and the Raiders can get what they need and everyone moves on. All right, so the second box of 2015 Topps Chrome Football. We actually did a full case break of this earlier. Uh, Sheb is asking, Jason, didn't the Seahawks play Marshawn some of the, or pay Marshawn some of his contract with him coming back to the NFL? I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't know how that how the money situation went down. Because it wasn't like a straight-up release 
of Marshawn Lynch from his contract and his obligations to the Seahawks. And C Chef, what what is you, who is your team? Okay, so yeah, yeah, not sure about the money, but we yeah, the Raiders got Lynch and a sixth rounder, and the Seahawks got a fifth round pick in two thousand eighteen. There we go. Oh, you're a Buccaneers guy. Bucks look good. I like their draft too. Good draft. Looks like they have a. Oh, one of my buddies went to Florida State as well. But yeah, um, Buccaneers. Pretty good. I, th I think, you know, seeing Marcus Mariota and Jameis Winston, um, there's Trey Mason. Uh, these are not numbered. I think seeing Marcus Mariota and Jameis Winston kind of progress the way they have, I think is awfully, is, is, is great. There was so much like negativity, you know what I mean? Around whether you liked one of those guys or the others. Like, oh no, you know, there's Austin Hill for the Jets. Nice, Adam K. People were like, oh, you know what? Marcus Mariota, not an NFL quarterback, you know, uh, you know, Jameis Winston, he's, he's not going to have the, you know, the, the mental toughness to not get in trouble in the league, you know, Marcus, you know, blah, 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 Marcus Mariota, system quarterback, and all that sort of stuff, and looks like they've progressed just fine, you know, there's Mariota right here, and I think that's kind of cool to see that, I think we're, we're so quick to be like, oh, this guy's going to be a bust, and this guy, but it seems like they've evolved nicely within the context of their own organizations it's good for the hobby too <laughs> to have those guys continue to do well there's odell beckham jr remember that 217 out of 499 camo refractor new york football giants john b randy gregory camo it's another one of 499 that goes to mark b and the cowboys Those greens aren't numbered. That's where we're kind of breezing by those. They'll still ship, though. Roger Staubach die cut and Levi Norwood. Oh, the wrong number. CO Turtle saying the green Steve Smith has the wrong number on the car. The back of the car? Like the car number? All right, so some camo refractors here that we're sleeving up and top loading. And then we'll get the other box of 2015 Topps Chrome Football. All right, good luck, everybody. Then we'll go to Optic, Black Gold, in case we'll close with the Definitive. And that should kind of bring us right, nicely right to the... There's Jimmy Swinson right there. Right nicely to the end of the night. Amari Cooper! On-card auto Amari Cooper... Raiders, Raider, Robbie Pond with the Raiders, getting that Raider Joe Mojo, nice, Raiders, Sepia, Danielle Hunter, out of 99, sorry, I just got fired up there, folks, <laughs> there it is, Robbie, there he is, yeah, Raider, that Raider Joe Mojo in full effect in the last break of the night. Daniel Sanders, Pulsar. Love that Amari Cooper. I think when the Raiders were drafting him, or it, it came down to Amari Cooper and I think Kevin White. I think it was pretty clear that they were going to go for a wide receiver. 
Um, Kevin White was well regarded as maybe a bigger receiver, higher upside kind of thing. But the there's Derek Carr right there, his teammate, ACDC. They were saying that Amari Cooper, and it's turned out to be true, was more of a polished route runner, right? Runs a good route tree. For those of you who know route trees, got, has, has a good route tree, crisp routes, you know, you can make plays. A little case of the dropsies, but out of 399, Trey Waynes for the Vikings, pink parallel. A little case of the dropsies, but, but has developed very nicely in the league and big fan of him. You know, and kind of a kind of a more of a quieter guy as far as as far as uh, wide receivers go. You know, if you see him in interviews, he seems relatively on the shy side and seems to be pretty committed to like football. <laughs> like that's like his thing. You know, so like a real like the real student of the game kind of kind of stuff. Now I'm no scout, but all that sounds good to me. <laughs> nice Amari Cooper. All right, now we move into 2016. Donner's Optic Football. So it's pretty much their version of Topps Chrome Football. <laughs> now that they have the exclusive license. Although the Optic Series, I think, Optic Football, Baseball, Basketball. We have Optic Basketball in the store right now, the latest Optic Basketball. It's really nice. They did, I think they did a very solid job with this. Nice hits, nice parallels, nice autographs, good design, friendly price point, something that everyone can kind of get into. So, <laughs> Shep's like, yeah, when the Raiders came to town last year, beat us in the fourth quarter, watching Cooper and Crabtree tear us up through Derek Carr was sickening in multiple. Well, and I think we were... I feel like, if I remember, the first three quarters did not look good for the Raiders. And those would be games that we would have lost the year before. You know, I think that's the big improvement for the Raiders. Not necessarily numbers-wise, although all the, all the numbers look good too, but for whatever reason, they executed better in the fourth quarter. The defense is still a little suspect for the Raiders, but um, they would we would execute in the fourth quarter so we so the games that we would have lost in 2015 in the fourth quarter by three points by a touchdown by whatever via interception or fumble or whatever those turned into wins last season and so i think that was a huge turning point for the raiders i mean remember uh remember al pacino's speech in uh, any given sunday it's a game it's a game of inches you know <laughs> It's what it is. There you go. Yeah, Shep's like, yeah, first three quarters were all bucks. I remember that. Because I think, uh, uh, I don't know, you may have seen Shep Alex Lindsay, who uh, often you'll, you'll see his name in there. He's probably your competitor because he's a bucks guy too. So he competes with you to buy the Buccaneers and breaks. And uh, I, remember, I remember him and I talking about that last fall, about the game. Jason R says, Raiders going to the Super Bowl this year? Stacey Ridley will get randomized. I hope so. That'd be nice. That's the goal every year, isn't it? It's been a long time since... Uh, <laughs> there's Jalen Ramsey out of 199. It's been a long time since I've been able... That the Raiders have been... In the conversation. Bucks in the Super Bowl? Uh, Shep, a classic Raiders-Buccaneers Super Bowl matchup. Raiders can get revenge from the early 2000s. Well, that was a dark day for me. Sheldon Rankins, 4 out of 99 for the Saints. So, uh, sorry, the Jalen Ramsey of Jags will go to Jacob. The Saints card will go to C. Shep. Daisy Ridley will be randomized to one person in the break. Tyler Boyd, rated rookie, refractor for the Bengals. And a redemption. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We're just talking about DeAndre Washington. It's hard to tell. I think that this is a parallel. Yeah. 003 out of 149, Peyton Manning, the sheriff. Who is someone was saying that they were collecting the 
make try to make a rainbow of the sheriff said Colts C Shep. It's Paxton Lynch, rated rookie. Six out of twenty-five. Nice one. Denver Broncos, John B. Is that the Kessler redemption? Doug Martin die cut. Have we, oh, maybe that's the auto, right? Yeah, that will be the auto. Jeremy Macklin, 103 out of 299, who was just recently released, right? KC with that one. That'll be Ben S with that. Blue Sean Davis out of 149. We'll even sleeve these and top load this Ezekiel Elliott. That still has some value on a secondary market. There's Derek Carr, Refractor. Gridiron Kings, Blake Bortles. Jordan Howard, 20 out of 299 for the Bears. Uh, that card will go to John C. There's Josh Doxson. All right, and the redemption is... Rated Rookies Autograph Red. What is that? Out of 10 or something like that? Braxton Miller, Texans. That'll go to Houston. Craig K has the Texans. All right, so let me sleeve these up, and then we'll move on to Black Gold. And then we'll close out with these two guys. Should be a nice finish. Jason R. is a big Boise State guy. His alma mater. Nice. We're hoping that Mar uh, that Doug Martin has a good year. Wait, what, was, what was that I read about Doug Martin recently? That he was... Yeah, PEDs, was it? There's something going on with him. I thought there, I thought there was some medical issue going on with him. That, that kind of nagged at him last season. Or maybe it was a PED issue. All right, so let me sleeve all these up. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna do that Daisy Ridley randomizer right now. Or no, you know what? I'll just wait for it till the, wait till the end. Have not seen any. Well, no, I don't remember. Have, have there been Panthers hits? I, I honestly don't remember. All right, three boxes to go, folks. D does anyone really think that, that Daisy Ridley is actually a fan of the NFL? Stop. It's just her home city, just because they played a football game in London. <laughs> I think that is an assumption made by Panini. Yeah, it would be fun to collect, right? See how like, like he's like the sheriff. I'm the sheriff. I think that'd be that'd be a cool rainbow to collect. All right. There's Warren Moon out of 225. Oilers, that'll go to the Titans, of course. Curtis Martin out of 225 for the Patriots. That will go to, who has the Pats in this one? Oh, Karen, of course, Karen. Dak Prescott, Mother Load. What's up, Josh? 31 out of 99, Triple Relic. For the Cowboys, that'll go to Mark Bellinger. And Paul Perkins. Sizable signatures, nice. 122 out of 225, former UCLA guy. Going to Big Blue, John B. All right, and black gold rookie signatures. Jakeem Grant, 190, uh, 191 out of 225 
for the Dolphins. That will go to Adam K. Another redemption in there. All right. One, two, three out of two, two, five. Tyler Boyd. Rookie gold mine going to Rick Hunt. Forty seven out of one hundred. Dangerous. Russell Wilson for the Seahawks. Donald Brazier. Is that a, um, not an autograph, I'm afraid, but there is Aaron Rodgers, shadow box swatches. That's uh, eight. Is that eight? Yeah, eight out of 49. Packers, Asa with the Packers. Sizable Signatures Rookie Prime is your redemption. Let's see what's back here. There's Tyler Boyd, Quad Relic, 136 out of 199, gold prospecting. That goes to the Bengals, Rick Hunt. And the redemption is Hunter Henry. Nice one for the Los Angeles Chargers. And that'll go to Connor Lowry with the Chargers. Connor on the board. All right. Getting down to the good stuff. Let's do encased first. We'll close with the definitive. And then we'll do uh, some randomizer. Well, one randomizer so far, this Daisy Ridley. There could be like dual autographs that come out of here. All right. So we got the graded card and then the pack. Oh, there's Connor. You're welcome. Glad I got you on the board, even though it was a little late in the game. All right. Let's start off with, do I want to cover these cards up with something? Yeah, let's try to slow play these a little bit. Barry Sanders from Encased. I really like the design of this Encased. I'm a fan of it. Can these go in 100s? There's Barry Sanders right there. Nice. Robbie says he's still waiting on a black gold sizable signatures redemption. Do you do you know that it's been si signed for sure though? Sometimes it's the player. 14 out of 49. Alex Collins dual autograph. For the Seahawks. Donald what are what are the expectations for Alex Collins? I feel like I feel like he can do a little something this season, right? Make a name for himself. We have a Chief. One out of ten. Nice Pro Bowl patch. Marcus Peters. Three colors and maybe a little bit of turf for dirt right there too. Nice. Oh, I pulled it for you. Nice, Robbie. Yeah, if he hasn't signed it yet, then you have to blame Zeke, not Panini. Uh, nice one for the Chiefs. That goes to Ben S. But if they do have it, then you can blame Panini. Drew Pearson. Nice. Reserve signatures. 11 out of 35, an old school cowboy going out to Mark Bellinger. There you go, Mark. All right, now the graded card. Let's see who it's going to be. It's graded a 9-9. Nine, nine. And it's an eagle. Rookie cap patch, Wendell Smallwood. Nice patch, nice auto. 63 out of 75. 9-9. Nine and nine. 
There you go. Who has the Eagles in this one? Philadelphia Eagles. Josh York. There you go, Josh. And last but not least, Definitive Collection Football. Let's see if we can try to hide some of these hits here. Wow, I think we're going to start off with a one of one. <laughs> oh, wow, and what's this? Good Lord, what a box. All right, all right, let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. I'm glad I saved this box for last. We're start off with a one of one for the Lions, Amir Abdullah, for new guy, Johnny L. Of course, new guy. You're going to get me in trouble, new guy. There's a lot of people who haven't had train whistles yet, and they're going to be like, come on, Joe, new guy gets it. All right, new guy. As you know, if you've been watching, out of fives and under, so technically we're on the Big Hit Express already. We're on a train. We're rolling along in this break, you know? And if you get an out of five or under, you get to pull the train whistle. You get to come up to the front of the train, pull the train whistle. So, raw, uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah, it's new guy mojo. So, Johnny, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woohoo! There you go. Nice start for new guy. You remember this day, new guy, when I when when you go through a few breaks where I where you go hitless. And I'll be like, remember that one of one on day one? Twenty three out of twenty five, Devontae Parker. You know, when there's a week of you not getting anything, and you're like, Joe, on a cold tree, and I was like, Ah, remember that your Abdullah that I got for you? Dolphins. Nice. That will go to uh, Adam K. Next one, Brett Hundley. Nice. 12 out of 50. Two-color patch and autograph for the Green Bay Packers. Asa with the pack. Nice. Moving right along. Bengals, AJ Green, 9 out of 50. Two color patch and autograph. Bengals going out to Rick Hunt. Nice one, Rick. The frame. I've heard of this guy. Oh, there's a redemption back there, too. That's Marcus Mariota. Remember, that's this is 2015 definitive collection. 20 out of 30, Marcus Mariota, framed rookie autograph for the Titans, Robbie Pond. Nice, Robbie. That is nice. The Redemption, should I peek? Redemption is a dual autograph, same team. Icky Woods, Jeremy Hill, dual collection autograph. Rick Hunt and the Bengals. Since in a cat team mojo. Everybody wants to be a cat because the cat's the only cat knows where it's at all right there it is both bangles all right couple more to go here we got 33 out of 40 jamal charles two color patch nice relic for the chiefs ben s and i don't know what this is i don't think we we i haven't seen a a lot of definitive. We haven't broke, busted open a lot of definitive. But it's a pretty thick card. Is it a piece of a helmet? Oh, it's a chin strap. Wow. 
Four out of four, Devontae Parker. Part of the definitive helmet collection. It's the strap. Four out of four on that strap. Wow. Miami Dolphins, Adam Kupperman, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! What a great way to end this break, ladies and gentlemen. That is nice. We'll box that up, Adam, and get that out to you. We're going to get uh, Daisy Ridley out to somebody, too. So let's go back to the list right here. Brett with the Cardinals all the way down to Jacob Allen and the Redskins. And name on top. We'll get a little bonus card. After eight times, five and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. C Shep on top. So you get the little bonus. Daisy Ridley. Do 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 The Last Jedi comes out in December. Pay me, Disney. All right, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time, folks. Show for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Good night.